Hey guys, how's it going? It is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back today. We are going to be checking out the most secure chest in Minecraft. Now you guys have been asking for this mod for a very long time and I'm happy to announce that I'm now officially releasing the lasers mod. So if you guys want to go ahead and download this mod, link in the description below. This is actually an add-on for my device mod so you actually have to download the device mod as well if you want to have this mod actually installed in your game. But basically what it adds in is actual working lasers and if you walk into them you're gonna get burnt, you're gonna die, so <laughs> these are some pretty secure lasers. And what I have set up today for you guys is a vault. And basically, you've gotta go through a series of security steps to actually get inside of this vault so you can actually access the chest. And of course, I've included the lasers into this secure vault. So if you guys are excited for this video today, make sure you remember to go ahead and snap that like button if you enjoy it, but let's go ahead Let's go into, let's go, but, but, but let's go ahead, let's get into this right now. Alrighty, so here we are at my beautiful mansion. I love my mansion, I just, I just can't get enough of it. But let's go inside. Uh, you might notice that we actually have security cameras all set up around my mansion because, you know, we've got a secure um, mansion here that, you know, we don't want anybody coming into. But today we're going to be going into the vault, which is actually below my house here and as I said there's multiple steps to actually get inside of here so um, I wonder if you guys can actually spot where the entrance of um, this vault is because basically what I've done is I've made it a secret I didn't want to make it obvious of you know there's actually a vault under my mansion now um, it has to be secure so can you guys see anything anything at all um, anything in the anything in the bathroom hello I know we've got a security camera in here it's for security purposes you know, I'm not trying to look at Sir Pig. Oh, no, Sir Piggles is not here. I'm not trying to look at young Greg while he's on the pooper. So I'm going to guess you guys didn't notice anything. But what I'm going to do now is show you guys how you can actually get into this vault. And then we're going to be able to access the chest as well. Alrighty, so we have a couple of steps here before we can actually get into it. So we need to head up to my office here. And in my office, we actually have a special key card, which is going to um, kind of complete half a step. Um, so this is my gaming setup here. But if we come into the kind of side kitchen area over here, I've uh, stored on the shelf down here. Have a look at this. Your little secret key card on there. Let's go ahead. Let's grab that. It's a level five key card. So, you know, um, this is like, you know, we got level. There's level one. There's level two. There's level three. But level five is where it at. That's where it is at. Uh oh, hold up. Give me that. Give me that. All right. We almost just lost, lost the key card. But we come down here. And then what we need to do is um, go into the bathroom over here. And you might have noticed this over here potentially. But basically, we're going to right click this. And what it's going to do is kind of activate something. It hasn't done anything yet. Um, it's kind of done half of the step. Um, of this process. Alrighty, so that's uh, one of the steps done here. We need to go over to my kitchen now. And inside of my kitchen here, we actually have um, some a kind of a special activation trigger. So uh, let's just keep the level 5 keycard there. And what we need to do is actually start smelting something inside. Oh, sorry. We need to start freezing something inside of the freezer here. So we need to go ahead and we need to grab a bucket of water here. We're going to pop that into the freezer and then we're going to go ahead press start and then you might have heard something but there's actually a piston right and it pulled down this slab over here and just behind here we actually have a lever. Let's go ahead let's flick that right now. Oh that and, and that closed up as well. Well there we go we can't get access to that lever anymore. And if we come over here right we're going to see the entrance to the actual secure vault. Now this isn't actually the final step. We've actually got a couple more things we've got to do before we can actually get access to, ch to the chest here. Now you might see down there we actually have some lasers. So this is what the mod uh, I am showing you guys today is the lasers mod. And um, this thing is super duper secure. Have a look at this. We have a bunch of chests in the middle there. We've also got a security camera down here. We've got a light controller because we actually do have some lights down here. Now, I just want to show you guys, uh, if we go into game mode S here, if we actually walk into these lasers here because um, they do actually really hurt you. 
Alright, we're gonna be very- Oh my god, ow! I was not ready for that. I've played around with this mod myself so many times, and I was not ready for that. That- It takes so many hearts away. Oh my lord. Yeah, so this is- This is a very, very secure little vault down here under my mansion. But let's go ahead, and what we need to do first is we need to turn on the lights, because it's a little bit more- It's a little difficult to see down here, but we've actually got a, uh, kind of this little control panel laptop here, which is- going to allow us to turn on some lights here. So if we go down to the light switch application and we click on this one here, we should be able, oh, how we're gonna click there. Alrighty, so now we can actually see the vault under here. So there's the security camera and there is all the chests in the middle there and it's, and it's protected by all these lasers. Now next, what we've actually gonna do if we wanna get access to these is we've actually gonna turn off all these lasers. So let's go back up to the laptop here and you guessed it, we're gonna go into the laptop here. We're actually going to connect to a different network here called Chest. Let's click uh, the tick little button there and we're gonna to go to this new application called the Home Security Manager. So um, this is, I think, I'm not sure if I actually, if it was like this last time, but I feel like I renamed this, but um, basically in the list here, we've got a list of all the connected lasers that are on the network. So we're actually gonna go uh, to each of these ones and actually turn them offline here. So there we go. And you should start to see that we are now we now kind of have less lasers here, but let's keep going and uh, turn the rest of them all off here. And now the lasers should all be off here, and as you can see, we now have the chests revealed in the center here. Now, we still actually can't get into these chests here. So if we if we actually go ahead and we right click this here, as you can see, um, we can't actually get into any of these. So we need to actually have a special key to get inside of these chests right here. So basically, we need a password lock. So what we're gonna do is go back up here and we're gonna head over to my kitchen, where what we're going to do is actually grab a cheese and cracker. So let's go ahead, let's grab uh, one of these out here and we need to go ahead and find an anvil. And what we need to rename this item to is the actual password. So it's actually cheese is the best. Let's get that. And if we go ahead and we now take this cheese cracker and go down to the vault here. And inside, you guessed it, you will find cheese and crackers. Now these are no ordinary cheese and crackers, right? This is why I've put it in this high security vault. It's because these cheese and crackers are made from hand. They're made, they're from Italia. They're from Italia, I don't even know where they're from. Each one of them, each one of them, right? cost $10 each. So you're looking at about uh, $270 here. $270. You know, I got this high security, high security vault just to protect $270 worth of cheese and crackers. You know I'm serious. Even if they were $2 crackers, I would still hide them in these chests here. But as you can see, we got some more down here. Got some more at the bottom there. Um, and yeah, that's what I keep in my vault. So if you guys ever come across my vault in real life, you'll just find cheese and crackers inside of it. So now that you guys have seen that, I just want to quickly show you guys how this mod actually works, just in case you guys are downloading it for the first time. Uh, give you guys a quick tutorial on, you know, if you want to put one inside of your house. So, uh, to craft a laser, you're going to need to craft it like this. Um, and that will actually give you a, um, let's go ahead and let's grab it out here. This will give you a laser and then also um, to craft the shield pad here, you're going to need again, um, you know, terracotta and then end crystal in the middle there. This one is the terracotta on the outside, um, ingots in the center and then a block of redstone right in the middle there and that will give you a shield and a laser pad. So the next thing you want to do is place down the shield pad and then get your laser, right click the shield pad and then you want to place it um, on the opposite side of that shield pad. You'll notice that I can't actually place it over here, but I can actually place it, you know, I could place it there if I want to. I could place it above. So it needs to kind of be opposite of the shield pad. It kind of makes sense, you know. Can't really place it over here and, you know, expect it to actually be um, the shield pad being able to absorb the laser from that direction over there. But now that you've done that, let's say you actually want to turn off this laser. Um, how would you actually go about that? So what you're going to need to do 
is actually have a laptop. So let's go ahead, let's grab out a laptop here. Let's grab out a laptop. You're also going to need to have a router because the um, laser actually has to be connected to a network here. So let's place that down there. Let's put the laptop on the floor there. Let's connect that uh, laptop up to that router. And then we need to connect this laser up here to the router there. So let's go ahead and grab out an ethernet cable from my device mod. Right click the laser and then just simply right click the router there and it should now be connected up. If we go into the laptop here and we go to the home security manager application, we should have a list here of all the lasers in the network. And you'll see that we found the one that we connected up. We go ahead and we press here. It's gonna turn that offline and we can actually walk through here safely. Um, and not actually get hurt by the laser if we want to turn it back on we simply just go back to this home security manager app click here and it now turns the laser back on and there we go it's pretty simple and I wanted to make it really simple for you guys to use as well so again Download link in the description below if you guys want to download this mod today. But that, my dudes, is going to end off this video today. If you guys have any ideas for this mod, do let me know down in the comment section below. I would love your ideas. I definitely want to add in, like, colored lasers in the future. So if you guys had that idea already, you can scrap that idea. I've already got it. I've already got it in my mind. So um, suggest me some, something else you'd love to see inside of this lasers mod. And again, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you remember to go ahead and snap that like button. Subscribe if you're keep up to date and I will see you guys later for some more epic videos. Peace out dudes. <laughs>